Hi guys, Joshua Tharby here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to give you the lowdown on the announcements that Rishi Sunak announced today as part of the whole coronavirus government stimulus packages that have been announced and indeed have been common over the period of lockdown and 2020 in general. Okay, great. So let's get started. The biggest one is that furlough the scheme is ended. So gradually it's been reduced over the previous months. And now from the 1st of October, the 31st of October, actually, it's going to be completely phased out. It won't be available anymore. And instead there will be a new scheme available in its place. The job support scheme available from the 1st of November, 2020. And the emphasis around this was that it's there to support jobs that actually exist and that are commercially viable. So the government were aware of a lot of jobs on furlough where their role didn't exist anymore and they were just basically being paid to not work, despite there's been no commercial viability behind the decisions. Whereas now this new scheme, broadly how it works is you as an employer have to pay your employees for a third of their hours. So if they work 30, 40, 30, 40 hours a week, you have to pay them a third of this and they have to perform the work. And then the remaining two thirds will be topped up by the government this scheme itself will be in place for six months um, and that's really all the information we have at the moment on this scheme but more will come out and I'll update the links to this video as more links come out. The second thing that was announced is all around bounce back loans, coronavirus business loans and the payment terms for these. So this is going to be quite a big one for businesses that have taken out these loans because broadly what can happen is when you took these loans out you had a six year repayment term now you can apply to have this changed to a 10 year repayment term for your bounce back loan, which will almost half the repayments for a lot of businesses. On top of this, if your business is struggling or in a state of financial distress, you can either apply to be paying interest only, so no capital repayments. And on top of that, you could also potentially apply for a payment holiday six months without any repayments at all. And the government have promised that this won't impact your company's credit rating. So for businesses that have taken out these loans and are now struggling, this is a fantastic relief that's now available and could really help with the cash flow in your business. The third announcement that's come out today it was all about VAT. So first we've got the VAT deferral rules. These VAT, the VAT that was deferred previously was due in on the 31st of March. This has now been deferred and you can spread this completely interest free over the remaining 11 quarters from 31st of March onwards, which again is a fantastic boost for cash flow and will help a lot of small and medium sized businesses. Off the back of that, you've also got your self-assessment tax bill, which was um, deferred from 31st of July to the 31st of January. You can also apply to again to defer this further if you can't pay it. And again, this is interest free. So for people that have deferred it, for sole traders, property businesses, people who are struggling, you can apply to get this deferred um, and really help your cash flow. And then just touching back on VAT there, the VAT reduced rate, the 5% rate that applied until, the 30, until um, January, that has been extended now until the 31st of March for the hospitality and tourism sectors, which will hopefully help boost the economy there as everybody knows it's tourism and hospitality that has really been hit hard by this crisis. So this was just a quick recap of the announcements that were made today by Rishi Sunak. Um, short, digestible, to the point. I will update the links below with some more information as it comes to light. But otherwise, if you've got any questions or anything that you want covering from a tax and accounting point of view, drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Have a great day, guys.